Hi everybody, I'm forest entomologist Mike Precio with the Maine Forest Service and I'm here today to talk to you about one of our important forest pests here in Maine, European Gypsy Moth. Winter is one of the best times to scout your own woodlands for this pest due to the fact that they lay large, visible egg masses on the trunks of trees and you can also perform some easy management when the opportunity presents itself. Oak and aspen are some of the preferred hosts of gypsy moth and so that's a great place to focus your search for egg masses in the winter. And you can see just how well they stick out against the dark bark of some trees. When I'm out in my own woods looking for gypsy moth, I carry a closable container with me and a putty knife to scrape the egg masses off with. Anything with a durable edge can be used though. After that, I'll take the container back to a place where I can fill it with soapy water and I'll let it sit for a few days to make sure I kill all the gypsy moth eggs. Sometimes when egg masses are really tucked away, like in the deep furrows on this sugar maple here, you won't always be able to get them into a container, but scraping them onto the ground is better than doing nothing. <clears throat> it's really important to mention that gypsy moth will lay eggs on just about anything, and egg masses can be found on man-made items as well, such as RVs or boat trailers. When you're traveling around Maine, it's important to check your equipment for gypsy moth egg masses and make sure you're not transporting this pest around the state. Gypsy moth will lay its egg masses just about anywhere, so make sure to look high, low, and in between. On behalf of the Maine Forest Service Insect and Disease Lab, thanks again for spending a virtual afternoon with me out in the woods. I hope you don't find anything like this, but if you do, now you know what to do.